Hello, this is Antonio from Holy Lamb Media Entertainment. I'm here to discuss that black people are the most hateful people I know. Why would I say that? Because we just name calling all day to each other. For no reason, just because we disagree with you, you gotta be a name. Now let me read some of the things that people say just because you disagree with them. Sip, ho, whore, yamp, coon, crispy, midnight, hood rat, nappy, female dog. You know what that means. <clears throat> so let me read it again. Sip, ho, whore, yamp, coon, crispy, midnight, hood rat female dog. Now some of us call each other, call women whores and hoe and hood rat, and they're not hood rats or whores, but we just want to do it because it's demeaning. Talk about people's dark skin. What makes you your skin color better than theirs? Because you're lighter? I don't think so. I'm a light black person. I don't go around calling people crispy and, and midnight and black midnight. So we need to stop that. And another name that we call each other is becoming like I and you. It's just so common. Sagging backwards, which is nigga. Niggas spelled sagging backwards. We get niggas. Kind of weird, huh? But back on topic, when you call another black man or woman nigga, you might as well be calling him Jungle Bunny, Tar Baby, Porch Monkey, go ahead and throw on your white sheet or your ghost, ghost costume and join the KKK. That's how strong I feel that that word is. It's very demeaning. People think, oh, it's cool. You know, Tupac made it cool. Hip hop made it cool. Rich Pride made it cool. Rich Pride made it cool. No. It's demeaning. And I don't care how you try to defend it. People say, sticks and stones will break bones, but names will never hurt you. No, names hurt. It's demeaning. Now I have thick skin, but it's still demeaning, it still hurts. Now everybody has an iron mental to take those words and say, Psh. so what, I know who I am. I have a sense of self, I know what I am. Not many people have that. It's all about being respectful to yourself and others. If you're not name calling and cussing, I see that as respecting yourself then that goes outwards. You don't disrespect and demean other people. Now people say, yeah, I use that. I call my brother and sister king and queen. I understand that's uplifting, but not every black person is a king and queen. They can't be, because there's one king and one queen for a group of people. We all can be kings and queens. We can't all be royalty. But we all can be this regular black people who are respectful to each other. Who show respect. Now I have no problem with people using the word king or queen for this call, for being something other thing. Don't get me wrong, you can use it. But I'm just bringing up a point. King and queen over a group of people. Now, Everybody's a king and queen. When you got a king and queen, you got peasants. Or people who underneath you. And what we need is have black people side by side by each other. And when you don't name call and be vocal with people, it shows that you have value for the other black person that's there. You have value for yourself. Because when you use that kind of language, that language comes back to you. And if when you're talking you know, when you talking knowledge, dropping knowledge, I'm dropping knowledge, you know. 
when you drop a knowledge, and you start cussing, end this and be this, female dog, oh, whore, people just hear that. A lot of that message, that knowledge gets in one ear, out of the other. So fathers and mothers, we teach our kids, hey, don't name call, don't cuss, but we doing it. We need to be leaders, role models. This goes to uncles, aunts, grandmas. We need to be role models. And it's always uh, crazy to me that I see this amongst black women, but black men too. They need to cuss somebody out. Don't make me cuss you out. I'll cut you out. I'll cuss them out. You can't explain yourself, your views without cussing. You can't show your dismay while dis without cussing. Do you need it? Is your vocabulary that small? As you need it, we need to grow our vocabulary. Take some stuff out, bring some stuff in. So I just want people to be respectful to each other as black people. Once we start showing value for ourselves, people say, oh, white man ain't gonna never value you. Okay, if a white man won't never value you, make sure you value yourself at a level where we do it in house, clean the house up first before you go out and try to clean up the streets. So take care of your mind, sense of self, your mouth, what comes out of your mouth, and what you hear, what you take in, into your heart. Because that reflects on what you give out. I know when we grew up, we played the dozens. It was fun, you know, laughing. Now the dozen have become demeaning and hurtful as we became adults. Why is that? Why do you feel the need to be on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, talking crap about people, trying to make people seem small? Is it because you're insecure about yourself and you need to make yourself feel good so you talk about others? Now, I like jokes. I like to laugh. At some point, we have to cut that out and get serious, especially in these groups that I'm in, these pro-black groups, consciousness groups. I see a lot of infighting and craziness and vulgarity and name calling. Man of the coon, set out. Why they attacking black people by other black people? We can't show value to each other. Do we value each other? We talk about uplift and black man's god, the black woman's goddess, doesn't seem to be showing when you talk to other black people. Give them something to aspire to. Because yeah, everybody's not there yet. But they can get here and get conscious to what they, they are as a person, as a black person know some history, get some sense of self. It's okay to be critical of another black person. You can criticize another black person. Nothing wrong with that. When you start demeaning people, that's where you're off the ship. You're off course. So what can we do to change this? I would love to hear ideas. This is to spark a conversation. Not to be what I say in case clothes. No, this is to open up a dialogue. This is what I'm about. Bring up issues, bring them in a respectful way, with love, to other black people so we can discuss, dismantle these stereotypes, these bad behaviors, rebuild the black community to something that is valuable. Let's take our valuable money or our valuable contributions and characteristics 
that we can have, people want to unite, but we can't be civil to each other. How are we going to unite? How are we going to unite? Can be civil to each other when we're discussing normal black issues. It's sad. And it needs to stop. Now I know there might be some back backlash on me for saying this and the title of the video. But please discuss with me. And leave comments below. Leave comments below. Let's dialogue. Let's converse. Let's build. But first we got to dismantle some of this behavior and some of these characteristics that should be in our that should be in the black community. Some of these words are very demeaning. And we know that we use them. Not every black person uses these words. When I say we, it doesn't mean all. I mean, you guys gotta be smarter than that to think, I mean, all black people. Because all black people are not the same. So when people say, they said all black people, all white people in their videos, they ain't black. I can't believe it. And that's always Yahweh, all day, every day. Peace.